everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so i wanted to say thank you all because recently youtube let me know that i have reached over 1 million views on my video so thank you all so much for watching but please watch and also subscribe okay so in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the new fragrances from bath and body works their latest release so far it's, it was only three fragrance mists y'all so i like that uh, you know for my uh, wallet <laughs> So they had one repackaged one, and that's the one I'm going to start with, and that is Cozy Evening. Now this, the one I have, I believe came out during the summer semi-annual sale from last year, and this has notes of Lavender Blooms, Fresh, fresh Freesia, and Cozy Musk. Now, this is a soft, warm, sweet, powdery, floral musk. It kind of reminds me on initial spray and for quite a while of a like a perfumed dryer sheet and it gives you like you you put on a, a nice warm turtleneck or sweater or blanket and you're wrapped up in that after using that type of dryer sheet. And I really, really do like it now when I was because I hadn't smelled this in a minute. And when I was preparing for this video, I was like, this is giving me Fireside Flurry vibes. Not as sweet, not a dupe, not as marshmallowy. It, it, it just reminded me a little bit of it. But that can give you like a reference if you haven't smelled this yet. Also, Cozy Evening is like the fragrance mist that Bath & Body Works has been coming out a lot with lately. The ones I have recalled like dryer sheet, fresh fragrance mist, uh, warm coconut and cotton, uh, sea salt and lavender. Uh, those are the two like off of my head. This isn't a dupe for those, but it gives you the same vibe to me. The longer this sits on my skin, the floral comes out. Now, I like the uh, beginning and mid the most out of this fragrance mist. So, I just want to bring that out. It's powdery, it's musky, it's sweet, warm, fresh, you know, kind of, like I said, dryer sheet, a perfume dryer sheet but the longer that very dry down you know that's i kind of get more of a floral scent and it's still nice but i wanted to bring that out if you don't like the freesia if you're not into florals this does on my skin dry down to a floral scent it's for the majority of the time it takes a minute for it just to get to the floral and it's ways to play with it to to you know keep that at bay but i did want to bring that up now i also wanted to mention i paid attention this time because so many people asked me in my comments you know how long does uh any particular fragrance miss last and me in particular i don't pay attention to the longevity of a fragrance mist. That's not top on my mind. Unless it's one I put on and immediately, I'm talking within seconds or minutes can't smell. I, I don't think of, let me see how long this is gonna last. And maybe because I'm a perfume wearer, usually 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm wearing a perfume with a fragrance mist. I'm never wearing a fragrance mist on its own. So, I, that's not what I look for in a fragrance mist. But I wanted to bring out, I tried this out on my skin, this collection in particular, because I said, I'm gonna let them know. This is very long lasting for me on my skin. I wouldn't say it's a strong projector, because it is, like it says, cozy evening. All is calm as you dream the evening away with this soft fragrance. It's soft, it's warm, it's cozy in the freshest type of way, but it is long lasting. This lasted 
um, between six to eight hours on my skin. So to me, for a fragrance mist, which if I'm going to say the least amount of time I would expect from a fragrance mist would be two to four hours. So four to six, I say is stupendous <laughs> lasting time. Okay, so the next fragrance mist I'm going to talk about is Blush Cardigan. And I just wanted to mention the packaging because I have last year's packaging for Cozy Season. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's nothing, you know, that really grabs my attention, but it, it's not off-putting to me. But this is one, if you're the type that packaging attract well all packaging attracts us in some way but if you're the type that you would purchase something just for the packaging this wouldn't be on that level for me so the notes are sweet raspberries sugar dipped violet and warm amber this is an intense ripe syrupy sweet sugary warm raspberry powdery scent and to me <sighs> okay when i first smelled this i smelled it in the shower gel formulation and i told you all that story in my black friday haul if you haven't seen that video i will link it above check it out and i was like whoa because it, it was a syrupy thick sweet raspberry scent and then when I sprayed this on my skin, I was playing with it, you know, to review it, it made me think of a few comparisons. So Velvet Sugar, it reminded me of this, but Blush Cardigan is way more intense. So, you know, this is discontinued. So if, and it's not, on, it's not an online exclusive, at least not right now. So if you loved Velvet Sugar, I would say, try out blush cardigan also this reminded me of a couple other fragrance mists because the more i smell this it gives a bubble gum a bubble gummy sweetness to it okay and then i, I was smelling it some more and it smelled like kool-aid in the best way i'm not talking about a cheap childish way because this is i this is good so it reminded me of like bubblegum pop not exactly i'm not saying this is a dupe for velvet sugar it's not a dupe for bubblegum pop it also reminded me of firecracker pop think of all of these three kind of mixed together with a thick syrupy raspberry sweetness with a powdery perfuminess to it as it sits on your skin and that's what blush cardigan is y'all this is good Woo! this is good this i've i've have I watched any reviews on this i think i watched one person talk about it and they decided not to get it because they said it was too it was generic to them and i i can see what they were saying in a sense of it's another berry fragrance from bath and body works but to me it's it's different enough it's complex in a basic way if you understand what i'm saying because it smells like a bath and body works fragrance mist you like i said i can pick out velvet sugar uh firecracker pop uh and what was the other one bubblegum pop but it comes together it has layers to this it doesn't just keep smelling the same it changed on my skin as i told you intense sweet raspberry then it gives me a bubble gummy sweetness and then it gives me a kool-aid like that when i tell you this the cherry Kool-Aid note in this. Think about like a, the the straw uh, raspberry Kool-Aid in this, but with a powdery sweetness, perfuminess. To me, this is complex in a way of if you have a lot of Bath and Body Works fragrances, you're gonna be able to pick out different things in this fragrance mist. But it's good. 
it is a good one y'all so blush cardigan really surprised me because i didn't have any thoughts on this no thoughts no expectations at all for blush cardigan and i am in love okay so the last one we're going to talk about is the one everyone has been waiting on this is the one that's on everyone's mind this is the one I've heard people say, oh, it's just superb. It's the best fragrance mist ever from Bath & Body Works. And that is wrapped in vanilla. So this has notes of soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and Chantilly cream. Okay. So when I initially sprayed wrapped in vanilla, I was not impressed because I was like, this just smells like an artificial warm vanilla. That, that's what I was thinking, because you know, I, I was listening to some people's reviews and then, what was it? Did I watch two reviews on this? I didn't watch a lot. I think it was two and they loved it. And I said, well, I, I figured people were gonna love this one. But then I was looking at, <laughs> the rating on Bath and Body Works website, and this only has like three and a half stars. I was like, well, what the heck is going on? So when I sprayed it, I said, well, okay, I can see what people are, you know, the low rating, lower rating on Bath and Body Works because it is nothing, when I initially smelled it, that blew my mind at all. Because I have a lot of vanilla in my collection, perfume and mist. So it takes a lot with anything now, if you all can't tell the way I review things now, it takes a lot to impress me. I'm pickier, uh, it, it, you know, I'm just, what, once you have a bigger collection and you're keeping up with everything to review for your channel, I don't know, it makes me more particular. It makes me, I don't, I don't wanna say harsh, but once you've smelled so much, it takes more to impress you, at least for me. And that's how it is for me. So I wasn't impressed initially. So I was like, ah, why? That's what I was thinking. And then I was like, okay, I kept smelling it. And I said, oh, wait a minute. I meant to tell y'all also the longevity of blush cardigan. This lasted eight plus hours on my skin. So this is long lasting too. Now back to wrapped in vanilla. The more I smelled it, I said, okay, this is reminding me of some, some different things. So at first I was like, this reminds me of white pumpkin and chai. And then smelling it side by side, no. At least not from the top, but you know how white pumpkin and chai on that dry down, it'll get that vanilla creamy note. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Not a dupe, not a dupe. Then I was like, it's also giving me Christmas cookies vibes. And this is last year's packaging. Similar. You know, you can pick out different aspects, but again, not a dupe. Now, the one that I said, I feel like this is going to be the closest that it reminds me of when I was, you know, initially trying it out is vanilla confetti sparkle and i wanted to try these you know test it out side by side with you all okay i haven't sprayed this in a minute so let me spray vanilla confetti sparkle okay so Wrapped in vanilla and vanilla confetti sparkle are similar, but let me tell you, vanilla confetti sparkle is the younger, uh, more outgoing, fun loving, girly, not too serious version because this is more artificial, this is cakey. Uh, then it, it, as I wear it on my skin, I get the vanilla I want. So they're not dupes, but they are similar. But I would say wrapped in vanilla is a more sophisticated, elegant, more womanly version of vanilla confetti sparkle. 
Now, okay, like at first I said, I was just not disappointed, but wasn't impressed. But then I was like, okay, let me wear it on my skin. Let me see what, I'm, what I think about it. Now, on my skin, it turns into a creamy, warm, perfumey vanilla scent. And it also has this warm, gooey marshmallow vanilla that'll come out on my skin that I really enjoy. So to me, let me tell you one other fragrance it reminds me of. This is the Vani perfume from Outremer. So wrapped in vanilla also reminds me of this perfume. So if you have this perfume, and you love it, you're gonna love Wrapped in Vanilla. If you haven't been able to get this perfume, if you wanna know if you will like it, go smell Wrapped in Vanilla, because to me, they're very similar. So to me, Wrapped in Vanilla is a, again, like I said about Blush Cardigan, it's a complex but common scent. It's common in the and to me in, in the fragrance world, as in it's vanilla. I have smelled, I mentioned a few fragrance mists and a perfume that this fragrance mist reminded me of. They're not dupes, but again, it's nothing I haven't smelled before. Maybe not exact, but it's nothing new. Some people are saying this is the best fragrance mist that Bath & Body Works has ever created. For me, it's good. Now, like I said, initially I was like, hmm, but then I was wearing it on my skin. I was getting whiffs and wafts of it. And I said, okay, I'm liking this. It did keep reminding me of Vanilla Confetti Sparkle on the dry down of my skin. But I was like, I'm liking this. I'm liking Wrapped in Vanilla. It's a good vanilla. If you're a vanilla lover, I don't think you're going to dislike this. If you like, take away, I, if you like these two, if you like Vanilla Confetti Sparkle or Vanilla, what is it called, Confetti Cake Pop originally, the Vanille Perfume, Vanilla, I think you would like Wrapped in Sugar because... It's good. And I am so glad that I wore it and really, you know, just didn't go off all oh, initially. It's nothing special. I'm not going to say it's the best fragrance mist that Bath and Body Works has done uh, for me in my collection, but it's a good one. If you want a vanilla that isn't, you know, cakey and what some people call juvenile, if you don't want a super gourmand, cookie, cakey, ice creamy vanilla. You want a, a smooth, creamy, womanly vanilla. Then this is great. It is, and this lasted eight plus hours on my skin also. So all three of the fragrance mists in this collection were long lasting and I like all of them. So to rank them, I'm gonna have to say number three is gonna be Cozy Evening. Um, it's a repackage and plus Bath & Body Works, while they do it quite well and I am enjoying the fragrance mist they're releasing with this kind of drier sheet but perfumey vibes they have going on, they've done it quite often. Now number two, is going to be difficult. Oh my goodness. For number two, I'm gonna say Blush Cardigan. And that's hard for me because I almost made this number one. But I remember on the very dry down of my skin, I, I love the initial, the beginning and the mid of this because it's so juicy, fruity, girly, powdery, sweet, flirty. And then on the dry down, it becomes more like a powdery floral. And it loses some of the sweetness. It loses some of the, the, you know, the fruity syrupiness. I still love it, 
but the beginning and the mid are my favorite. So I'm going to say blush cardigan is number two. Number one <laughs> is going to be wrapped in vanilla. Like I said, initially, though, I wasn't, didn't ever dislike it. Just wasn't blown away initially. I still wouldn't say I'm blown away with it, but it is a great vanilla fragrance mist and it is very long lasting. And like I said, I've been loving vanilla, so you can't go wrong with this if you love vanilla. Now, I will say I am thinking about today is the last, today is Sunday, and I'm wondering do I want to go ahead and get a backup of actually both of these in the fragrance mist. You know, the 425 fragrance mist sale happened Saturday, and then today is the last day, and it's only three fragrance mists that I'm thinking about getting a backup of, and that's Wrapped in Vanilla, Blush Cardigan, and Strawberry Snowflake. So I, I just don't know. I'm thinking, do, I'm like, do I wanna wait for semi-annual sale? You know, I just don't know. So, but they are for me, cause y'all know, look behind me. I, I don't need any backups. That's why I'm very particular on what I will back up. This is so good. And the only reason why I'm thinking about getting a backup of it is because they, I can't, I don't have uh, velvet sugar anymore. And I actually like this more than velvet sugar, shockingly. So that's why I'm thinking about getting a backup of it. And then this is just a good, sophisticated vanilla fragrance mist. And so that's why I'm thinking of getting a backup of this. So I, I know I want backups because I want to let y'all know when I think something is backup worthy. And for me, these are, I you know, the, the largest amount of backups I will allow myself is three. This is a three bottle backup worthy. This is one, I bought three backups of Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. And so that's the only reason why I'm like, do I want one more backup or two more backups i don't know yet so i don't know if i'm going to take because i'm tired of spending money let me tell you i am not in a shopping mood right now i've spent quite a bit of money and i know body care day is coming up which i can't think of really anything i want like i said unless they release something new to review so I'm like, do I, this, I'm thinking, I know the 425 is cheaper than the body care day, but will it be cheaper than semi-annual sale? I know the strawberries and the snowflakes will probably be. So I don't know. I just don't know. You know, you get in those moods where you just don't want to spend anything and I'm in that mood. I'm in that mood right now. So they are back up worthy though. I just don't know when I'm going to back them up. So... We shall see. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me your thoughts on the new fragrance mist. I would love, as I knock things over trying to pick them up, I would love to hear your thoughts on all the fragrance mist in the latest collection. Let me know. And please share this video with everyone who just loves Bath and Body Works because... I want y'all to share my video so we can get to 10K. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.